Well, looking around and everything, looks like a lot of peas are coming up. Peas and soybeans, so that's a good sign. I see a lot of deer tracks out here, so they're coming. All right, so all I did was just wrap some burlap over the top, put a few of these zip ties on it. That's what I do every single year. This typically lasts about one year. But when I'm sitting down in here, I'm hidden very well. So here's my view on this little plot. I could prune a lot more limbs for some better shooting, but I really like how it blocks the deer from seeing me whenever they come walking in. Typically when they walk in this plot, they're going to come in front of you. They don't really cut off and go nowhere. Now back here behind this stand, there's some water holes, which uh, I haven't seen holding water in a long time. And deer will walk back here every now and then. See, there's a pretty big pond over here. But a lot of oaks and stuff in here. They come feeding on those. And as you've seen, I just planted peas and soybeans. They're starting to come up. But I don't know if you can tell, there is a thousand deer tracks and dimples down there. So they're eating them as fast as they come up. But I still see a lot breaking through the soil and coming on. So if we get a little bit of a rain, which they're calling for tonight, these peas should take off. Well, we're back, and as you can see this morning, dealt with a lot of rain. I was really feeling confident that they were gonna move after the rain. I sat through two different rainstorms this morning, but uh, nah, nothing showed up. That's just the way it goes. But I am glad that my peas and soybeans finally got a decent rain on them. Just planted those over a week ago. There hasn't been much rain other than just a little bit of mist. So we got a really hard rain this morning. That should make those grow quite well. So what I'll probably do to finish this video out is, I haven't checked my game cameras in a while, so I'm gonna go out in the woods and check those. I wanna show you all uh, the other food plot, how it's coming, and you've got to look <laughs> at all these persimmons. It's insane. So we'll just kinda make this another one of those uh, little kinda hunting update type videos as we still continue to get everything ready for fall and winter hunting season. So I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm finally getting some bucks showing up on camera too where I just sat this morning where you seen. Uh, I've had three different bucks come in there. Nothing that's uh, a wall hanger to get you that excited, but legal bucks nonetheless. And that's something I need to mention on this channel and other channel. I am no big sport hunter looking for rack bucks. I am really out there for two things. One, to relax and just be outdoors. Two, we really do enjoy the meat. Uh, so don't ever watch this channel thinking that I'm letting everything in the world walk and I'm managing deer. That's not what I do here. My neighbors don't do that. So it's hard for me to let a bunch of bucks walk off of 50 acres just to go get shot next door. First and foremost, I want the meat. That's what I think the good Lord intended the animals, you know, to be used for, not for big racks on the wall. 
Do I want a big rack buck on the wall? Yes, I do. <laughs> I just don't own enough property here to truly manage. So first and foremost, we're getting food. Things are definitely coming along and this is an unusual pea for me this is called Austrian winter peas I think I'm saying that right I've never planted them before but uh, they told me they were similar to a cow pea could handle being nipped and obviously it's a winter pea that's important for this time of year but I have never seen peas grow and look this like this they just look weird and small and it's gonna be interesting. Hopefully they grow okay, cause heck, I've got them planted now. I'm not planting nothing again until uh, I do this whole thing in winter oats. And as you can see, although the deer find these immediately, I got soybeans coming up in random spots out there. But uh, it seems like the deer walk around and just nip those right away. But the peas are coming up great. Um, I had wet soil when I planted them. That's the only reason they've grown. We haven't had no rain until today. And you can see the ground was packed heavy and I see some spots that were holding water. So we got a good decent rain this morning. This should explode over the next few days. It's supposed to be in the 80s and 90s hot. However, next week I'm seeing 50s for us. We're getting a cool snap. And for me, that is amazing for September. That's gonna be some exciting bow hunting. It should have our deer running around everywhere. They can tell the season's on the way when you get weather like that. So let me show y'all something. Sadly, I should have brought my zoom wheel camera. Tiffany was out here with me the other day when we was watching Dove and she got to looking at the sheer number. I mean, there's just thousands upon thousands of persimmons up here, it's crazy. I had some of them old, uh, I forget what those worms are called that usually get in pecan trees. They got out here and killed the leaves off, but it does let you see how many persimmons are hanging on these limbs. I'm sure some are hitting the ground, but I bet the coons and deer are keeping them picked up just as quick as they can find them. But my goodness, they're everywhere, all through here. This is all persimmon trees. I've got them all over in here, all down this tree line. So I'll continue to keep underneath mowed and that'll bring the deer to me. I've actually got to come out here and cut. There goes some more dove. I've actually got to come out here and cut this limb off so I can see and shoot out of the shooting house. Speaking of the shooting house, I hadn't been up in that a while. Kind of scared to open the door and see what's crawling and living in there. But I need to go ahead and probably spray for a few bugs and get it ready because uh, here coming up just a few weeks, it's muzzle loading season and I'll be sitting down here some more. But let's head out in the woods. I got a couple cameras out there. I'm about to put a stand up and I am really excited to see what's on camera. And I need to fill this deer feeder too. that I run turkeys out I actually seen uh, quite a few gobblers this morning whenever I was walking out from bow hunting they just wasn't gonna let me walk near enough you know close enough to them so well good there's activity out here check this camera real quick you know the ultimate plan is I seriously doubt any have dropped yet but showed you all this in the last episode I got to get a tree stand up Tiffany has time today we may throw one up today and I might put it on uh, this episode otherwise we'll get it up here pretty soon I put these big two-man stands up and they are tough to put up by yourself but these are uh, this is a white oak tree right here which is not a common tree in the south but when you find a man the deer love them this is a wow what a huge hawk this is a big old white oak tree right here where else do I have oh yeah back over in there I see a couple lots of little ones around here 
That's a big white oak over there too. Take a look on the ground here real quick, see if I see anything. And boy, I gotta watch out for moccasins. I have been seeing them left and right. Seen a huge one yesterday. I couldn't uh, I couldn't send him to meet the good Lord because I didn't have a gun with me and he slithered out of the way. I think it's too, too early for white oak acorns. And white oaks don't always produce every year. Some years they do, some years they don't. I've noticed on the back side of the property, I've already got some live oak acorns dropping, so that's good. It kind of looks picked up through here, it really does. I can see scratching. Looks like the turkeys have been coming in here, which they're probably not gonna eat that big of an acorn. I should see some turkey poo right over there. So they must be staying up. Some of these big old trees right here. But I've got to find me a spot to get a stand up in here soon. Because once these acorns start dropping, I would like to do a little hunting in here. This is another very nice size white oak. Another big one over there. So somewhere in here, actually I may wind up putting the stand on that tree. That looks perfect. Got limbs all behind me. The deer tend to walk from that way. There's a pond right here. I don't know if y'all can see the water's edge is right here. This is what I call my duck pond. Typically I get wood ducks out in this. So I think if I put my stand up right there, back myself to the pond where they most likely won't come from, I can see all in here as they feed. And if they walk down this trail right here, I could take care of them just with a little bit of minor pruning. So I'm kind of glad I walked out here. I think I know exactly where I'm bringing that stand. Let's check this camera. This tree every year is so good to me. That's why I'm always so hesitant to cut these limbs. I usually wind up with a scrape here. And uh, man, look at this. I mean, it just loads up with acorns every year. Look at all of these acorns. These are what I call live oak acorns, which deer flock to and love around here. I mean, every spot you're looking at might be hard to pick up on camera is acorns. They're getting close, they're getting ready. Trying to see if any are dropping on the ground. These don't quite look ready. But very, very soon. Yeah, I've already seen some on the ground. Yeah, look at here. You can see where the deer's done coming, munched and busted a few open. You can see uh, holes on the ground. So, just starting to drop and the deer are finding them. That's good news. This is always a very popular tree for the deer to come underneath. The problem is, it is a little over 300 yards to that shooting house, so I need to get out here and do a little practicing. That's something I've been saving some big one gallon jugs for. We'll set some up back here in these corners. I might do a little shooting episode on the other channel one day. Absolutely crazy. I cannot remember how long I've had the battery in this feeder. I'll have to look back over the channel. I might have changed it once, but I almost think I've had it in there since the end of last hunting season. That battery's still showing 100%. These feeders run for months and months and months. Heck, maybe even a year on one battery. I was gonna charge one up and bring it out today, but I just don't see the need. You know, I got to thinking, tomorrow is opening of dove season, 
which by the time you watch this, I may post it on that day. I'm gonna try to get this video out today, which is Friday. Oh, uh, and I got, I, you know, I got to thinking, I don't think I need to be putting the tree stand up today. I'm gonna hook up to the flail mower real quick. That's how we're gonna wrap this video up. And I'm gonna mow around the perimeter of the field. That way everybody's walking in nice short grass. They're calling for some potential rain tomorrow, so I don't want them walking around in a bunch of old, tall, get you wet type grass. And I think I'll clean the dove field up before these doves start flying in. I've only got about an hour before they really start flying in good. And uh, like I said, that's just how we're gonna wrap it up. If I have any good deer pictures on these cards, I will include them at the end of this video, so stick around for that. sitting down here just watching the duff coming in figure I'll wrap the video up with this see him flying in down there I was out of here trying to finish up that mowing y'all just seen me do and the dove started coming in so thick and I was spooking them I just knocked it off I might get up in the morning and do a little more mowing before the shoot but it's looking promising it's still pretty early in the afternoon and look at all the dove down there those are just the ones I can see. There's actually some hills out here that kind of block a lot of them. It's hot. It felt so good earlier this week. Now it's just back blistering hot. But like I've already mentioned and beat to death three times in this video. We've got a cool snap next week. Oh, I cannot wait. It'll be cool enough for some fires, good hunting. But as you can see, I just finally broke down and bought me one of these DeWalt 20 volt fans since I've kind of bought all the other DeWalt 20 volt stuff. And this thing is sweet. It's like my first time using it, but I was down here sweating. I was like, wait a minute, I've got that portable fan. Let me bring it down here while we're waiting on Tiffany to get home. And, uh, I'll crank this thing up and sit here and watch these dove come in. So far, so good. I think I'm going to like this. I'll talk about it later on the channel if it winds up being a good buy. I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. So uh, don't run away just yet. We're going to have some you know, pictures at the end that I got off the game camera. And uh, I include a little more footage of some dove flying in. Don't know just yet till I get to editing the video. But I'm seeing a lot of dove fly in. So it's starting to turn on. If you want to watch us do this dove shoot, link is in the description on every single video I post on this channel to our other YouTube channel. So check that out. Click on that link down there. It'll probably be Sunday or Monday before I get the video out, assuming we actually have a decent shoot tomorrow. And I'm thinking we will. I may miss a lot, but hopefully we eat quite a few for supper. So uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Got a lot of things we're about to do around here. Got some pretty exciting channel news coming up. Got to find the proper time to... Uh, kind of share all that and let you know what's going to be going on with a few little changes 
And uh, <clears throat> like I said, always drop me a comment. What do y'all want to see? What you want to see in the next video? Is there some equipment that you still want me to show off and talk about things about the property? I don't mind doing that at all. Drop a comment. That's what they're there for. Thank y'all so much for the channel support and for watching. Catch you on the next video.